Welcome to the step-by-step -step instructions for Quick Data Entry. Quick Entry allows you to quickly process and distribute large quantities of material. Quick Entry works best when using barcodes in a scanner such as a USB symbol LS2208 or a Bluetooth-enabled socket CHS7CI. Scanners allow data to be read quickly and accurately. If your school does not provide ID cards with a barcode, Tipweb IM has reports, which can be printed and used instead. There are two ways to access Quick Data Entry. If you have just logged into Tipweb IM, you may click Quick Entry in the Quick Links section of the dashboard at the bottom of the screen. This will take you directly to the Quick Entry page. Otherwise, select Automation from the navigation bar. Then, click on Quick Data Entry. In this lesson, we will practice distributing to students. Select Student Distribution from the drop-down menu. You can streamline the distribution by pressing the Remember ID or the Remember ISBN button. Remember ID is useful for issuing many materials to one student. Remember ISBN is useful for distributing multiple copies of a particular material to many students. For this session, we will use Remember ID. To start scanning, click Go. Select the ID field, then scan or manually enter the student's ID. When the scanning is complete, you should see the student's name appear on the right-hand side. Take note of the errors display beneath the title field. If there are errors on that student's account, for example, a lost book or outstanding charges, an error sound will play and these errors will be displayed in red here. Next, scan the ISBN. Ensure that the title that appears on the screen matches the title of the material being distributed. Scan the accession number into the accession field. This distributes the item. As you distribute books to students, they will appear in the book history on the bottom right of the screen. The book history will be saved in TipWeb IM and allow you to keep track of which books a student has been assigned. Furthermore, you can use the icons on the right to change the status of a book and assess a charge. Now that this book has been processed, we are ready to enter the next ISBN, followed by the accession number. Note that the bottom left-hand side of the screen will provide distribution data for the most recent individual. Quick Entry can generate receipts for all materials distributed during this session. Selecting Today's Receipt will provide a report of the materials distributed in this session. Student Textbook Receipt will provide a report containing all materials currently distributed to the student, and Student Transaction Receipt will combine the textbook receipt with the student's charged history. For the next student in line, you will need to reset the student ID by selecting the Reset icon to the right of the ID field. Continue in this manner until you have completed the scanning session. This concludes our step-by-step -step instructions for the form letter editor. Remember, you have unlimited support. Please find additional materials and videos on our support center.